All right, let's talk about this. So, really, what we're after here with the Jace, I'll show you in some of these fights. So, my wife's deployed and she's texting me. So, just one second. Not a problem. She's like, how is Kittums? <laughs> That's the... <laughs> Needing attention. Yeah. So, basically, what you're after here is if he closes the space on you, then you need to respond really aggressively and don't let him leave. And this was fine. All this looked okay to me. Then you reset. When he does that, that should be death for him. Alright, kitty, go away. Go away, I'm trying to coach. Oh god. As soon as he as soon as he jumped in, I should have just immediately uh turned on him. The the thing is is like you right keep there. because you at least need to pillar him. So like here he uses his phase rush. So I tell you that we could go in at six. Okay. So right here, you're going to see it. So this should just be instant ghost, instant pillar here. Like right, yeah. Yeah, right and then just him. run at him. Let's see how long it takes you to pillar. You basically let him get from here to here before pillar happens. And then you try to commit. And look. And then my ults already ran out and I'm done. Yeah. yeah. Because you took so much time, and if you just respond a little bit more confidently, he would never get to that point in the, the lane, and then you could just go back and get right back to the, you know, I'm just going to heal up with my autos, and Jace is fucked. I can tell you from first-hand experience that once you've got Jace that low, he can't do anything. Because he can only go in. He doesn't have a... Well, he can poke, but he's ne it's never yeah. going to matter. It's not going to do anything. But I mean, like, he doesn't have a... He doesn't have an escape. His movement is all... Yes. ...into you. Yeah, he, well, face rush, he tries to do, like, that short trade shit, but... Yeah. But once he uses that, like, yeah, he doesn't do anything. Yeah, I see that, like, if I had hit that pillar and I had just all in, I could have just snowballed from there, because he's very... That's what I'm very, trying to get you to, yeah. He's very, he's very much like he gets his little I mean, bit of lead. we got, and then we got it. into a fun position this game. Yeah. In my opinion. Oh, yeah. Like, these are the best games for split pushing games. These are the ones to learn from. So, so we didn't have Ignite, I didn't want you to do anything, but I had you move down because Kindred was there. And then you eat the plant and then you decide, okay, we're going to go back. But you kind of get hung up here. Like in these situations, this is a, I, I explain this concept a lot on the stream. This is a timer, okay? This is how much time you have to come back. Okay? I'm going to say that again. This is a timer. This is how much time you have to fuck around before you have to be back. Got it? Gotcha. So watch it again. The reason this is relevant, because you go, you make your play. This looked all good. High elo player would have went right back to top here. And honestly, it would have hit the plant and just moved up. Now you could have, if you wanted, you could have just pillared. Oh, you didn't have pillar here, I guess. So that's why you're scared. But I could have pressured him. Uh, I mean, you could have walked at him, but he, depending yeah. on how confident he is, he could kite you with phase rush. Like he could, oh, yeah. and so you have pillar. But at Once the very pillar, least, I could get, I can, I, I could just get back to top lane. I could get yeah, back Yeah, you should have just lane. swung, you should have yeah. hit the plant and just went like that. I think around. I was like, I wasn't, I need to be better at kind of looking at the mini map in my periphery. Cause I think in my head, I was thinking like, oh, they could be coming up right behind me right now. And I'm walking into Jace. Yeah. So I sort of got. So you started getting into a pretty cool trading pattern, which is what I wanted here. I was trying to explain to you, like, when there's downtime, just auto. Mm -hmm. Like, there was unlucky. I had you push out because I just wanted you to to be trundle and be aggressive. Uh, he happened to actually be playing the brush, which is pretty rare because they normally don't do that in this low of elo. 
I'm gonna be honest. They normally don't. Oh, yeah. He does that. Yeah, no, usually and then they just pack up. He TP'd, which gives us gives us two plates, and you reset, which was all good. And then this was where you started getting to the good trading patterns of like the back and forth, what I was after. Oh, wait, no, there was one more base first. Here you fight him. See how out of line? Mm -hmm. Look, he can't do anything. He's a level ahead, he can't do shit. He just gets pushed out. Take a plate, reset. Now we're at the trading pattern because you got Sunderer. So here we go. We're fighting. We're doing good things here. So wave's pretty big. You back up. And I want you to see what starts happening. You start actually playing league for a little bit, finally. <laughs> so right here, ready? Watch. You push, he trades. You respond, you slap him a bit, you start autoing. Right? You're autoing, you're healing up. He's trying to poke you. Doesn't matter, he can't do shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that ult's kind of sloppy, but it's okay. Look, you're trading back and forth, but we're playing League now. We're both getting low, then you heal up. This looked like League of Legends to me. It was back and forth. There's an actual trade happening. Oh yeah, I think I have a, a, I'm like in focusing on just trying to do wave management little things. Yeah. I've been too passive where I, I like will just wait until I'm absolutely 100% sure I can just all in them and not really think about it instead of like testing my limits and kind of getting that matchup knowledge. So this was your best place so far because you actually, you got his flash and then you went right back to pushing. And then I'm like, you're staying here and fighting. So like, so I'm trying to back down, heal up. Then we got the wave under again. We traded ghost for flash, fine. And even though he's got, he's three and one, we're pushing him out of lane. You see that? Mm -hmm. We're getting bigger. So yeah, we knocked this tower. Hadn't really come back. He like doesn't really come back and while I was there. Yeah, cause Jace is useless out of lane. Oh. Now here, eyes. What should our eyes do when we see a champion? Should just be right on them. No, like our eyes. What should our eyes look at when we see a champion? Do you know? Uh, I would guess level and health. Yeah. So when you see this and you see this and then you look at yours and you look at your wave and you see what's over here and over here. Right? No. I know this is a lot to juggle, but at a baseline, just go, okay, I out level you and you're low. Fuck it. Well, yeah, no, it's like, I do. I, uh, just that first bit, like, when I see that's not what I'm looking at, I go, oh, that's a champ. Oh, no, gotta dodge. Like, you know what I mean? I, I, like, immediately go into, like, I need yeah. to be dodging. I go I, aggressive. Like, I, I think, I up. think aggression first. Okay. Yeah. I think, like, what are you gonna do about it? And then if I see, oh, he's big, bye. Right? Like, mm -hmm. but when I see but that, yeah, no, I, I literally a, just go like this. level 11 Syrophine with half health. Yeah, so you literally just go like this and walk at her when you see this. That's what should have been your response. But see, your instant response was this. And I had to yell at you to go up. Look how far back you ran into this. She's already yeah. dead. And the thing is, is depending on how long it takes you to make that call, it, depends, it, it changes how fast their team rotates and all sorts of stuff. Oh yeah, well if I had walked up in that moment, she wouldn't have cleared uh, all those casters to begin with and I could have just gone right back to, to hitting the tower. I see what you mean. Yeah. We, we killed two there. Um, so I wanted to talk about this rotation right quick. So here you knock down tower, you knock down inhib. You can turn the corner. This was all standard, like, split push stuff. I had you missing the portal, which is my bad. I'm still not programmed well yet with this. Jace TP's in the mid like a goon. So technically, depending on your confidence level, like, I probably would have challenged this guy. But I wasn't, I wasn't comfortable, like, putting you in that spot yet. We also had a lot of gold behind, or some gold behind. 
but they were gonna get baron so if you dove him you could have taken tower like if you get better at this mini game you should have known they're on this and we just dive this guy real fast with this yeah and then while because they just it seemed like they had just started baron like yeah while they, they ran were doing well that, they it's pretty taken. they have two options this is where you just think about it they kill and then you see them go the other way so watch kills and then they, they, go go. To, they show up in mid, so they're not yeah. coming here. So you can start really leaning on this guy. So what should have happened, as soon as you saw this guy, you go, you literally should just ghost and run at him. Like right here? Uh, right there. And just run him down, yeah. If you're walking with the wave, right there you ghost. And you pillar, and then he flashes, and then you run at him. Then he ults, you ignite, you try to kill him anyways. But he has ignite, so you probably would have died, to be honest. Might have been a bad play. If they have teleport, it's definitely... Uh, but yeah, but I did really have you challenge kind of here. A, the game at this point was sort of in a position where I feel yes. like maybe I should have just That's made that. The, I, I should have might as you well. You do though. You you anyway. do eventually do it here, which was yeah. probably better because he's off a tower. But yeah. yes, you didn't ult him fast enough, which hurt your ability to win. Yeah, and then you I just keep autoing. Yeah, because it still works through the suppression. Yep, I'm guessing. Yep. So yeah, all should have came a little sooner. As soon as you broke his spell shield, and then you would have lived. That would have been huge. That's um, probably what happened is I tried to ult him with after. the spell shield still up. Uh -uh, and then, you just did it after. So oh, it didn't. It, it's it affected go by. Okay. It's affected by ignite. So if you watch, yeah, he ignited late, and you yeah. ignited late, and you ulted late. It looks like your ult comes down. We can watch after it after his ult, I think. So you're bonking. Come on, Malzarl, and there's your ult now. It looks like wait no. Yep. There, there it is. is. So by then he's already ignited you. See? Yeah. He's already ignited you, and by that point, you see this right here, the health that you get, because you get mm -hmm. uh because you get the extra the health or whatever you lose some of that value the the healing yeah because and, and the other thing is his a full combo he started that before you ulted too that's the other key so if yeah, you had you really need to if you had the mr. mr yeah you had the yep. mr then yeah you win this and armor even for the minions to be honest yeah so it's about like confidently deciding like okay i'm i'm going here it's very poker-esque it's okay. like i'm i'm all in here that's it that's this is why and you don't care if it if you fail or pass it doesn't matter Ugh. You can see though, just by having uh, good side lane pressure, how you can win just about any game. Yeah, the, it, it really did feel like there was definitely, even though we seemed pretty far behind, it definitely felt like we were even overall. Like I don't yeah. think, um, I don't think uh, objective bounties popped out once. Yeah. So I think we were pretty much even as far as gold goes, really. This was huge here. And then you go for this. You might have. No, nah, no. Going for that would have been bad. Yeah, this as, was soon best. As, this as, was best. as soon as Silas shows up. I was like, maybe you kill Tower in time, but then when Silas is there too, our play is even better. We could have maybe stayed here. I think we made a mistake. Wait. No, we didn't. Stayed okay. in. No. no, we didn't. Fine. Oh, because Jace was right there. Yeah, if he over pushes and we kill him, that can be huge. Now, here's the high elo moment. So right here, when your camera got lost, if you'd managed to get out of this and go up river and go to top or something, it could have been a game changer. Yeah. Because respawns were at, yeah, like almost, yeah, like uh, Silas's was almost at 40 seconds. You would take, you would take this and you would yeah. take, um, 
you would take this and then you would uh i don't think you could solo baron or anything but you would take this and this and then reset and then you'd have total control of the map yeah. all these little decisions are what add up to whether or not you have a full item in the next exchange too So your team dies, so I have to push mid, and then I say, okay, we take it, the tower, and then reset. And then we go down, we get into the brush. So right here is the opportunity to carry the game. So you kept trying to, like, pop into people's vision, but you can't do that. So you just wait, and then here you told on yourself, as you can see. Yeah. If you, had you been waiting in this brush, it could have been easy mode for you. And you kept trying to leave, but, like, you have to make a stand. And then here, you needed to ignite him right away. Like at full, just ignite it. Right health. away, right yeah. away. Yep. Then he ults, and then you ult, and then he gets fucked, and then you win this game. I actually believe if you if you pull this off, you win this game. I think that's why I cracked because I kind of could feel. I feel like I could feel it. Like that was like that was the moment. Like, oh, this is the moment. You know what I mean? That was the. That was the. Uh, that was the potential like because you kill him then you get a bunch so you basically would get at that point uh you get let me see here you well, and get, we were at like whole minute respawn timers too yeah you would probably kill jace after that you would probably kill seraphine because your ghost funny funny story your ghost would have reset yeah off of him and then i could have just one after the other and my yeah. w is in a low enough cooldown so you kill him and then you would just sprint over to jace and fuck him up and then yep. you sprint over to seraphine and fuck her up and you would have just montaged the lobby like and then just walked right pretty much just walked into base essentially after you would have been like, able to push bot your team respawns i don't know if you get much done but i think you guys get yeah, uh the tempo yeah you definitely get to fix the lanes they don't well yeah and then they don't just walk into our base and, and take our inhib or our uh, nexus so yeah basically what happened was you stole silas stats and then whatever your combined armor and mr was silas got more value than yep. both of you <laughs> so and then yeah, yeah you would have retained that too for a little while uh, i've been getting a little bit better at at holding holding r in some matchups like i i let i gotten used to doing it with like things like mord um mm, yeah where smart. you're like okay like you're gonna take me like i don't want to hold press r until you press r because yeah, if that's i kind of funny first, like i'm done <laughs> yeah that's a funny those, those matchups are hilarious by the way oh yeah when it's like i know that you know that i know i love that shit about video games um but yeah i mean overall dude you couldn't have asked for a better game to be coached on Oh, yeah. um, I don't think you're that bad because you're in like low bronze or whatever. I think mm -hmm. it's a matter of volume and now getting this uh, play pattern ironed out and doing it over and over and over again. Oh yeah. Just getting more comfortable being because what you were in that game was you were in the driver's seat and you did a pretty good job of holding it. I mean, let's take a moment. Look, 27 minutes. Look at the look at the game. Look at your team. Nothing. Like this is common. This is gonna be a common scenario. Yeah. And it's gonna be about like working the map. Okay, I go to here, I back, and then I go down here, and then I push, and then I draw this guy, and then I fight this guy, and then I back. And it's like one decision after another, but it's all about you, and it's not so much about what your teammates are doing. Yeah, and they really didn't, even though they had almost double our kills, the gold lead was not that high at all. No. By the end of the no. game. And honestly, it's it's negligible when it's when you're talking about map rotations. Yeah because we just kept working them with with our rotations and our decision making and if we if we do this and we keep doing it um you're gonna start getting more and more confident in your game and then you're gonna get more and more confident and being out in the open one thing that i do want to reiterate because uh i know i'm sh shortening this coaching a little bit but what i want to do is i want to make sure you understand like Anytime that you can avoid vision on these side lane positions, it's really huge. So things that I would do that I don't even bother, bother really instructing because it's hard to articulate is that when I see stuff like this, like you see where he is, I see where mm -hmm. you are. 
I know roughly what he's seeing, so I would move like this sometimes. Or okay. alternatively, I would do uh alternatively I would do one of these. I do this often. To kind of get loop around that that vision. I don't want to be I don't want to be on uh on vision very often. I don't yeah. want them to know what I'm thinking very often. Um because right here you're gonna see. Like that was fine, but it's not as powerful of a position as being right there and killing him. Or coming around from behind him. Or or alternatively, uh like if you had a ward here and you saw that, you could have stood right here. Here's another trick. You could have stood literally right here. And then he walks on the ward, and then you just go, hi bitch, and you just drop in. I mean you pillar right behind you can yeah. pillar right behind these him plays, and just take him out. Like these little picks will win you games when you duel somebody in a side lane you just fuck the whole game you break the whole game and it's about doing it quickly more yes, than not yes. just like waiting you, it out you yeah. nailed it yes because if you wait then they get kind of they can kill your teammates too yeah or they just start thinking about like okay like i want to be already kill have killed the guy by the time that they're thinking like oh maybe we should go help them out yes it's got to be like a quick snag and then if you kill him you delete the the baron buff which means you clear the wave and then you've got all this space that you could hide you could go here yeah. you could go here you could go up here to the bush you could go here you could back here like they can't see shit so you can do whatever you want this is the fun part of the game man you got a good session today this is like the these are the oh, games yeah, that are the most exciting to me because you win from like such a deficit Right, that it's like, yeah. Oh, if I can win this game, then I can, I can move. Like, it's well, just, and that's so it, it is. It actually was perfect because that is kind of where my biggest issue of like wanting to even queue up for ranked a lot of the times because with norms, you know, when something goes on, when you literally had nothing, you couldn't do anything about, you know, whatever it is that happened, mm -hmm. but you still can get the game back, and I've never had that, uh, the experience to like be able to do that. Well, now you see like your whole yeah. team was like massive behind in levels. Like they're really far behind in, in levels. And we oh, still yeah. like held that game afloat. Look, 13, 13, 14, 12, 15, and 12, I, like, 11, 11. I just 11. realized that it was a, a Silas Seraphine bot oh, yeah, it's that they the like just time. kind of like got face rolled by. <laughs> yeah, that won't be the last time that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... This was perfect though. Cool. Good session today, oh, yeah. my man. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank I you. I know this was a little short, but I think this was like I said, this is like a perfect Oh yeah. You got the you well, got the rare, had, like, like the perfect long, game. The long queue and it was kind of a long game. The long queue, the long game, but the perfect game to go over yeah. some of your issues. So range matchups, pull them, look to all in at level four back here. And then just push it, reset, try to all in them back here. And then we get into split push mode when we get a lead and we just start. Oh, one more note before I forget to remind you. Take this, then rotate and take this and then play from there. This is a lot so of- So kind of ping ponging from top yeah, to Yeah, another, another tip too is if Baron's up here, push down here. If Dragon's down here, push up here. Gotcha. This way, if they send two, to you here then it's three here and your team will win and you want to be at the point by then that you you know they can't send one so if they unless send it's one like their most fed person if they send one then you eat that person yeah and then you take a tower and then yeah you might lose a drag or maybe you take two towers or if they send two and you get really good you could probably 2v1 sometimes oh yeah well and especially because the they game. even though they had a, a ton of kills they didn't have they and weren't even close to a soul yeah no one could kill you either. Yeah. So if we work the map, if we work the map like that and just keep practicing, it, the wins will come. They'll, nice. You'll start having so many options that even if they don't come, you can like blame yourself, which makes the, that's why I like split pushers because there's just so much. It's like, oh, I could have rotated here. I could have tried this. I could have dueled this guy. I could have, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I really like am. Mouse. I'm, I'm much more of a split push like oriented person because yeah. I, I don't really like just standing around with the in mid yeah, and and I mean, yeah for sucks. something to happen and then losing anyway and I was like okay guys 
Yeah, exactly. Dope. Good session. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. You too, brother. Let me know in a couple okay. weeks uh, how your climb's going. I will. Thank you. All right. Peace.